Damage Control. Hey guys, welcome back to Damage Control. We're at CSW Camp 2015 with Eric Paulson and one of our favorite reoccurring guests on Damage Control. Arr, it's I'm the back. Badger. The Badger is back again. This year we're going to do something a little bit different. In the past we've done techniques of grappling, striking, we've done clinch stuff, we've done takedown, we've done, last year we did ground and escapes from uh, mount, escapes from side control. This year we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Every fighter, no matter who you are, it doesn't matter if you're a professional, an amateur, or just a guy in the gym training, you get injuries. So now it's, this year we're going to talk about how do you work through injuries. You have two options. One. You can sit back, wallow in your misery. Ow, I hurt my arm, I broke my leg. I did whatever. Ow, the badger broke my leg. <laughs> this happened. Uh, never on purpose. You can sit there and, you know, gain weight, sit around, mope around, oh, I can't train. Or you can suck it up and keep working on your game. I'm trying to elevate a part of your game that perhaps was lacking in the past, that now you can do something to improve it. So when your injury gets better, one, I'm in shape. Two, now I have an even better tool. Okay, so we're gonna start. Let's take me for example. Three weeks ago, I tore my left bicep, thrown a left hook. So I could, I was getting in shape for a fight. I had a fight at Bellator. I was in great shape. I had spent all this time, all this money, diet, cardio, everything. Well, I couldn't get fat again, get back up to 230 pounds, and then for my next fight, have to work that all off. So chasing shape. Instead, Coach told me, no, you're doing everything. You're sparring, you're gonna do everything. You're gonna work out, you're gonna hit the heavy bag. So I've been doing everything with my right hand. I'm a power right hand hitter, but now I'm forced to do everything different. I'm gonna learn southpaw, right? A lot of guys that are orthodox say, oh, when I switch, it's awkward. Well, guess when it's not awkward? When you're forced to use your right hand as a jab. So we're gonna start on the heavy bag right now. So every time I come in, I'm doing rounds on the heavy bag, right? I'm always working on my right hand, bringing it back, right? If your arm hurts, let's say you have a broken hand or a torn bicep like myself, or even a bad shoulder, put it tight against your body so that it's not swinging around and you're, you're making your injury better. Keep it tight against your body. Just work on your technique at first. Right hand, right overhand, drop level, right body shot, right? Put two together. You can work on anything. It can be any bag. It can be a long, heavy bag. It can be a ground bag where it's uh, different angles of the target. And obviously, I have all my other weapons to work. So I can work my combinations. Right hand, right knee, right kick, right switch, left kick, boom, back elbow, anything. Be dynamic. This is the time when you have to learn to use other tools. My left arm's hurt. I can't use it. So am I just going to stick to my straight punches and my overhands? No, I'm going to work my elbow, my back spin elbow, ham spin, hammer fist. Doesn't matter. Be dynamic. After a couple rounds of that, switch your stance. Now, let me get better at being the southpaw. I'm not normally a good southpaw. But right now, I got six weeks to figure out how to get my right jab down. Technique perfect, just like my left. Doesn't matter. Working my left kicks with that, right? It's not all about the punches. It's about feeling comfortable throwing my left kick like I would a right kick. I have an orthodox stance. How can I make it look the same? Right? So the next part we're gonna do is actually sparring. When I hurt my arm, I was like, well now crap, I now, now I can't spar. So I gotta live on a heavy bag for six weeks. Nobody wants to do that. It's not fun. You get bored. You're starting to look for different stuff, okay? So coach was like, don't put a glove on that arm, right? So I didn't put a glove on it. I put a couple pads over it, make sure that I'm not swinging it to make the injury worse. And when I spar, I just work just like this, right? I have more tools now. And my, my other tools are gonna become more dynamic because I don't have a major weapon, right? I can still box, I can still kickbox. Doing MMA and takedown might be a little rough, especially with an arm injury, right? But as far as kickboxing, I can be my orthodox stance, I can move, right? Maybe I'm not a big kicker. Guess what the perfect time to learn how to kick better is? Here, kick, right? Boom. Switch my stance. Switch the, switch the, uh, the southpaw. Now Brandon can come at me. And one of the best parts about having an injury to an arm injury especially is 
one of CSW's best defenses for striking is the windshield wiper, right? Which we, we don't really use our lead hand, we block our body shot with our lead hand, right? But if you tell your partner, hey, I got an injury, stay away from this side of my body on your shots, right? So when Brandon comes at me and he's just striking, let's say we're boxing, right? And I'm working my defense, right? He's coming in, he just throws combinations a little bit faster, right? I can come off of it. And what else does it do? If I'm a big power puncher, which I am, a lot of times, like when I was early in my career, I wanted to stand here and just. I'm just trying to power this guy. Now, it's helping me with my footwork because I can't just stand here and throw regular punches. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna get hit, I got one tool. But if I'm moving here, working around, taking him, move. Make him move, work on my tools that perhaps I wouldn't normally work on by relying on my power. So one of the other really important parts about having an injury when you can turn an injury into a positive is during a fight, you never know what's going to happen, right? There's tons of examples. Let's say I'm in a fight, boom, boom. Let's say I do exactly what I did during training, but let's say it was tonight at my, at my fight. I tear my bicep during a fight. Well, what, 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 well, here's your choices in a fight. One, you quit. You go back to your corner and you quit. Well, guess what? Then you look stupid in front of millions of people or all your family and friends or all these people that have supported you to come buy tickets. Nobody wants to be that person. Guy or girl, nobody wants to be that person. So what do you do? Choice two, you adapt to it. Guess what? I might not have my left arm anymore. But I'm still gonna stay in this fight, right? So I'm gonna deal with it. Well, that's what training with injury does. I learned to, tr learn to deal with it. We've seen many examples. Ryan Faber broke both hands in one of his WC fights. What did he do? Boom, he was just jumping in, throwing elbows. You wouldn't even know unless you were a fighter and you're like, he's not using his hands, there's something wrong with his hands, right? If you're a power puncher, you're gonna break your hands. It happens all the time, I got him. Coach Paulson has him. Josh Barnett, everybody has had him. What do you do? You adapt. How do you adapt? How do you become comfortable with adapting? You train with injuries. That's the only way. If you put yourself in those situations during training, they're gonna be second nature to you in a fight. There's not gonna be that reason to look for that way out of a fight because I got a little injury. You twist your ankle, you get caught in a toe hold in a fight, that thing pops a little bit. What do you do? You learn to deal with it. You go right to the ground. You stay on the ground where you're not moving around, bouncing on it. Training with an injury will help you adapt to an injury in a fight or any kind of adversity in a fight.